Okay guys, I'm Tejas back with another video on fun man. Okay, today let's discuss about periodic functions. What are periodic functions? What is meant by the term periodic? Okay, the term periodic means that the function or anything that repeats. Periodic means has a meaning slightly equal to repeating. Periodic functions means functions that repeat. What they will repeat? They will repeat their values, right? Function means it has a output or value. They repeat that value. Then that function is called as periodic function. Or in other words, if there is a positive real number such that f of x plus t is equal to f of x where x belongs to real numbers and the positive integer is t right then the function f of x is called as periodic with period t where t is the least positive value means t should be least possible or positive value at which it is possible means for example if we have two values like the same function it is periodic with 1 and 2 then we should take the least value means it is periodic with 1 graphically how can we tell that graphically in graphically if a function repeats at a fixed interval means after a fixed intervals repeats at fixed interval then function is periodic with period equal to width of that interval and an important point to consider that is for those function whose periods are not deducted on graphs means if we can't find the periods on graph then they can be judged by inspection method okay let's take an example let function f of x be period and k be a positive real number such that f of x plus k is equal plus f of x is equal to 0. There is a function f of x which is periodic and there is another positive real number that is k such that f of x plus k plus f of x is equal to 0 for all x belongs to real numbers. Then prove that f of x is periodic with period 2k. Okay, this. Can we represent this function on a graph? We don't have, we don't know what is that function is. So, we can't represent that on the graph too, right? So, for this, we can just solve it normally. Means here, f of x plus k plus f of x means 0, right? Then what is f of x plus k? It would be minus f of x or negative f of x where x belongs to real numbers. Now, substitute x plus k in place of x. Then what would it be? It would be f of x plus 2k is equal to minus f of x plus k, right? For all x belongs to r. And now, from these two, what can we conclude? f of x plus 2k means it is negative f of x plus k, right? Negative f of x plus k means negative of Negative f of x means negative into negative becomes positive, so it becomes f of x. f of x plus 2k is f of x for all x belongs to real numbers. What does it mean? It means that the function f of x is periodic with period 2k, right? Now, let's see some standard results on periodic functions. Some standard results on periodic functions. Standard results means periods of standard functions first let's start first let's take functions cos sine power nx cos power nx secant power nx cosecant power nx what would be periods of these these periods would be if it is pi if n is even here we have raised that to power n right if n is even it is pi if n is odd or fraction, it is 2 pi. Okay, how is this possible? 
it is pi if n is even if it is 2 pi if n is odd what is different between even and odd they are just divisible by 2 not divisible by 2 right but there is another meaning also or if a function is raised to an even power then what would happen it wouldn't have negative values right but trigonometric functions also same they would be they would have negative values right if they are raised to even power they will have only positive powers means all negative powers would become positive so it it will have a period of just pi if n is odd of fraction it will have 2 pi and tan power n x and cot power n x is pi if whether n is even or odd it is just pi and i said that if we raise to power of a even power or even power if we raise to even power it will have only positive value so the period becomes pi and you may get one doubt if you use modulus or absolute function then also you would get all positive values right so then also we will have a period of pi and period of x minus greatest integer of x is 1 ok how is it 1 x minus greatest integer of x it is nothing but fractional part of x right we know that fractional part repeats after a period 1 right because if we take from period 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 for value 1 then its fractional part is 0 for 1.5 it is 5 for 2 it is 0 for 2.5 it is also 5 so it is periodic with period 1 and for algebraic functions for algebraic functions we don't have any periods right if you observe x square x square is a, just a parabola it doesn't have any periods if f of x is a constant function, what if f of x is a constant? f of x is equal to constant. If for any value of x, the value of f of x is constant. Then it is periodic, right? With no fundamental period. Because at any point it is same. Means it is periodic, but it don't have any period, right? How can we find the distance between two consecutive points that is infinitely small value and properties of periodic functions every function should have a properties right so periodic functions also have a property the first property is if there is a function f of x with period t it is a periodic function with period t then c into f of x or f of x plus c or f of x plus or minus c all of these have a common period of t the period doesn't change if we add multiply or divide or subtract any value from the function the period does not change we know that period of sin x is 2 pi right then period of 5, 5 sin x plus 4 is also 2 pi and if f of x is a function with periodic function with period t then if we take k into f of c x plus d where k c and d are constants then the resultant function would have a period of t by modulus c period that is period is only affected by coefficient of x the coefficient of x change then only it affects the period of the function if you want an example let's take f of x is equal to 7 sin x 7 sin 2x plus 5 by 9 minus 12 then it has a period of 2 pi by 2 because it is raised to an odd power right so it will have 2 pi period 2 pi and here coefficient of x is 2. So it is 2 pi by 2 which is nothing but pi. And if there are two functions. If there are two functions. F1 of x and F2 of x. With periods T1 and T2. Then there is another function H of x. Which is sum of those two functions. F1 of x and F2 of x. Then, h of x has 
the period of calcium of T1 and T2 if H of X is not if H of X is not an even function we know what is even functions right what is an even function if f of minus x is equal to f of x then that is called a even function right we discussed in previous video if f of minus f of minus x is equal to minus f of x then it is called a odd function right if h of x is not an even function then the resultant period this period of the resultant function would be LCM of T1 and T2. I hope you know how to calculate LCM. And if F1 of X and F2 of X are complementary pairwise comparable functions, then the, L, the period of the resultant function would be half into LCM of T1 and T2, where T1 and T2 are periods of F1 of X and F2 of X. And important point or important points to remember when taking LCMs. Okay, you may ask, you think we don't know LCMs, but we should see the important points of LCMs, right? Because some of you may don't know how to calculate LCM of fractions or you may be wondering or you may take two numbers like pi and 2 then you are you may be thinking to find their LCM so we should understand the important points on LCM the first point is LCM of a by b e by d c by d and e by f is equal to LCM of A, C and E by divided by HCF of B, D and F means LCM of three or more fractions is LCM of the numerators divided by HCF of the denominators. For example, if you take LCM of 2 pi by 3, pi by 6 and pi by 12, then it is LCM of 2 pi pi and pi divided by HCF of 3, 6 and 12, 2 pi pi and pi their lcm is 2 pi divided by hcf of 3 6 and 12 it is nothing but 3 so lcm of 2 pi by 3 pi by 6 and pi by 12 is 2 pi by 3 okay and lcm of rational with rational is possible I mean if there are two rational numbers you want to find their lcm then it is possible lcm of irrational with rational is irrational with irrational is also possible but LCM of rational and irrational is impossible. For example, if you take LCM of 2 pi 1 and 6 pi, it is not possible as 2 pi and 6 pi are irrational, but 1 is rational. And another important point to consider on taking LCM, that is, LCM rule is not applicable if the function reduces to constant. For example, if you take f of x is equal to sin square x plus cos square x or f of x is equal to secant square x minus tan square x. If we apply that LCM rule and calculate, you will get half into LCM of pi and pi, which is pi by 2. But it is not correct because they are constant functions. Their period is not identified. Let's take an example on how to calculate the period of a function. Let's take a function sin x plus tan x by 2 plus sin x by 2 squared plus tan x by 2 cubed plus and so on until plus sin x by 2 power n minus 1 plus tan x by 2n. Okay, this is, you may think this is very difficult one. It is, we can't calculate that, but it is easy one. Let's see. What would be the period of sin x plus tan x by 2? What would be its period? Okay, we know that period of sin x. What is the period of sin x? It is 
2 pi, right? But period of tan x is pi. But period of tan x by 2 is, we should divide pi with 1 by 2, which should become 2 pi. Both of these have period of 2 pi, right? Both of these have period of 2 pi. And if we take LCM of 2 pi and 2 pi, it is just 2 pi. So period of sin x plus tan x by 2 is 2 pi. Similarly, period of sin x by 2 square plus tan x by 2 power 4 is 2 cube pi. And so on until period of sin x by 2 power n minus 1 plus tan x by 2 power n is 2 power n pi. What is the LCM of these all? It is nothing but 2 pi. 2 power n pi. The LCM of these all is 2 power n pi. If you want, think on your own how it came. Or if you want, I'd explain. How it is 2 power n pi means here every function, every period is multiplying with t 2 square, right? Means 2 power n is usable by any of these periods, right? LCM means the same. The least value which is usable by all the values. Here least value would be 2 power n pi. So it is 2 power n pi. The LCM of these functions is 2 power n pi. So the period of the, our required function is 2 power n pi. Okay guys, this is for today's video. If you like the video or if you like the channel, subscribe and like this video. Ring that bell icon for notifying when I release a new video.